What we've got going on today are two H-bridge circuits. H-bridge circuits reverse the polarity of the circuit and they're used to reverse the direction of DC motors. We've got the 555 H-bridge right here with two 555 timer chips. And behind that, we've got the NPN H-bridge circuit with four NPN transistors. So before we fire up the circuits, let's check out the schematics. On the 555, we've got two 555 IC chips and the trigger and thresholds, pins two and six, are connected on each chip. And in combination with the 10K potentiometer, that's where the magic happens. So on the first chip, the 10K is interfacing with pins two and six, and one goes to ground eight and four go to voltage in. The output pin three is going into the positive lead. It doesn't really matter positive or negative. That's just going to spin in a different direction each way. But the output goes into positive pin on the DC motor as well as going into the connection of pins two and six on the second chip. So in one hand, I've got the 10K pot, and then I've got a little DC motor here salvaged from something I probably found on the street. It's got a little spinning disc there. I'm gonna slow down this video to show you as I change direction on the pot, how the motor changes direction. And I bring the speed down here to show you, notice as I turn the pot, the polarity reverses on that motor. The NPN H-bridge circuit consists of four NPN, that's negative, positive, negative, transistors, and these arrows each indicate the emitter of the transistor. So we've got emitter, base, collector, emitter, base, collector, We've got two momentary push button switches indicated here and 1K ohm resistors coming out of those switches. The base of one and four are connected. Okay. And the bases of uh, transistor two and three are also connected. Collectors on one and three go into voltage in, and the emitter on two and four are going to ground and the motor in this case much like the um, how the motor interfaced with uh, pins 3 on the 555 timer well in the NPN H bridge the motor interfaces with the connection between transistor 1 and 2's emitter and collector as well as the emitter and collector on transistors three and four. So they were going counterclockwise and that's clockwise. Hey you guys, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumb up, subscribe to my channel. Please post your comments below if you're into electronics projects. And these H bridges are a lot of fun getting a motor to reverse polarity and go in the opposite direction.